Hey there, it's tagged video, stay tuned. Hi, I've been tagged by John from Wingman115 to create this video about three knives. First should be about the knife from early days, from whatever I got as first knife of, you know, old knives. Second should be about uh, what I carry now. And uh, third one should be my future knife, what I'm planning to buy. So uh, let's let's get to it. I don't have uh, my old knives. Uh, I actually just uh, contact my sister if she can find my old uh, little hunting knife, I would say. But uh, I don't know about that. And um, one knife I was um, um, I had here with me was stolen, unfortunately, from me uh, in San Diego in 2007. However, later that year, I was uh, lucky to, to get the gift in memory of my old friend Frank. And it was this beautiful dagger, forestry cutlass, if you can see it. It was in, uh, you know, it was pretty dirty back then. Then I had this idea to clean it a little bit and I just cleaned it again yesterday. So I can show it to you. And yeah, now this is my oldest knife. And if it's uh, legit, if it's original, it might be from uh, Second World War era. It's stamped by F.W. Holler. Heller from Zollingen, which is a city in a, in a Germany, city of blades. So yeah, I'm very fortunate and happy to have this hunting dagger. And uh, I don't really care if it's original or not, it has sentimental value. And I'm actually right now doing some research and I approach some pros or, you know, um, specialists and I'm waiting for uh, some info so maybe later I can do a review on this knife so this is kind of like what started to to you know for me to to start um, buying knife and you know I got this idea to buy a knife but what is good knife so I jumped on the uh, YouTube and uh, uh, there were two guys doing reviews of knives and uh, one of them was actually John from Wingman115 and the other one was uh, Chris Turner from um, Prepare Mind 101 and that guy was talking about a uh, knife, he was actually obsessed about that knife, it was um, K-Bar Becker BK7 which is this knife, it's combat, whatever knife you know and uh, yeah, he wouldn't stop talking about it. It was like uh, Jessica Mania. He he named that name, uh, that knife uh, Jessica, and <laughs> it was crazy about it. So uh, I decided to go with this knife. This was my first uh, purchase of a good knife, and it is really good knife. After all these reviews, I wasn't uh, I, w I was really pleased to get this knife, and I still have it. And as you can see, I still use them. And uh, since that, I got quite, you know, a um, bunch of knives, uh, around 30 maybe, you know, uh, hunting knives, combat knives, fishing knives, you name it. And I'm still changing it, so, you know, I don't get bored. Second 
should be about the knife what I carry these days, you know, if I go hike. If I go, it depends, you know, if I go fishing, I don't uh, take with me all, all, you know, like the heavy big knife, which I don't need. But uh, yeah, I carry usually two knives, one bigger and one smaller. Um, this is small folder knife. It's uh, very similar to what I got last. I mean, I, I, I got stolen from. Uh, if you, you know, it, it has this antler scale and, you know, if you see something like that, it was in a homemade, uh, I mean, made by me, um, sheath from denim. And uh, yeah, it was my old knife, but I think it lasts forever. So this is small, small knife, what I carry pretty much every day, but for my, you know, adventures in the wild I, I carry this thing i was uh, shopping for something heavy duty last year and after review many reviews and searching i decided to go with this uh, it's from company knife company tops and this is steel eagle as you can see this is a really heavy duty knife quarter inch spine with a saw and I customize the sky this sheath with uh, other stuff you know maybe I can do a review on this knife in my uh, you know style but yeah that's what I carry these days is really sturdy as you can see pretty heavy though but I can do pretty much anything with this. I mean, for small tasks, I have a, a Mora or, or that folder, but for the, you know, chopping and, you know, creating uh, shelters or whatever, this is really good knife. It's almost like machete, but I still can do small, like, um, you know, curving and uh, feather stakes or batoning, whatever, you know. And yeah, this is like my Rambo knife. Very happy with that. The third, what I'm thinking to buy in the future, I was introduced to uh, Puma knives. Puma is an old knife factory from uh, also Zollingen, uh, from Germany. They've been around for 250 years and huge selection. But I was introduced to that uh, company by my friend from San Diego, Roman Volkolinski, and um, he had his nice uh, hunting knife, and I kind of checked on, even on Amazon, they carry these cheap ones, and so I decided to kind of check on it, and um, uh, give a shot, you know, and see what's going on for this uh, cheap knife, because this thing came with this uh, Still pretty good uh, sheath, and this is nice. Look at this design; it's awesome. I love the design. My my carta scales, excellent. I, I use it already, and I you know I use it in the other video. I I said when I was cooking, you know, excellent knife for under fifty dollars. You can go wrong with this German steel. It's really cool. Look at this design; it's really nice. Puma. So yeah, I, I was uh, since then I'm checking that uh, company and uh, this is like very cheap, very low, uh, you know, um, not even low <laughs> uh, knives from that company. But um, I'm looking for something in the middle because they go up to thousand dollars, you know, for the hunting knife, which is pretty pricey. But uh, yeah, something around two three hundred you can get really nice knife with. Uh, a leather sheath and uh, uh, stack uh, scales or bone or you know something real fancy and really cool but this is not bad for 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 cheap knife you know at all so yeah I would like to in the future buy something from Puma and see and maybe I'll do the review if I get it but maybe I'm kind of thinking to do reviews on some nice uh, because for example this one 
there is no review on 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 on, 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 on YouTube yet. I was checking before I purchased this one and I couldn't find anything. So maybe I'll do it. So hopefully John is happy about this video. Thank you very much for uh, tagging me because this is really cool uh, from you. And uh, yeah, I've been watching you for over 10 years on YouTube and now f uh, we kind of communicating through that stuff. So it's it feels really cool and I've been honored to to do this even through you, you know. So thank you very much again and um, I'll see you next time.